Oh my god. There are a lot of trash. Wow. That all people is participate? Yes. Sustainable is the most important, I think. Because make dirty is easy. Hi everyone, this is Jisoo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ako na po pala si Jisoo Kaling Korea. Before I watch it, Manila Bay White Sand videos, and then now I'm curious, so I search it before and Manila Bay transformation. So now let's go. As we approach the second year of the rehabilitation, the Boracay Interagency Task Force commits to sustain the gains and continue on with the efforts. Ah, uh, that is after cleanup, Boracay Beach, right? It's so clean. After the success in Boracay, DNR was given another challenge, the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. Ah. Uh, their next challenge is clean up Manila Bay, right? After a decade of government what? intervention. Oh my god. There are a lot of trash since the issuance of mandamas deterioration of the bay's water quality continued alarmed over the degradation of the bay president rodrigo roa duterte ordered secretary roy a simatu of the dnr and secretary eduardo m año of the dilg to clean up manila bay you start cleaning the manila bay and it will be they will start to clean it ah the DNR. clean up manila bay start because because their president ordered right it is good i guess together with secretary anyo tourism secretary bernadette romola puyak and other mandamus agencies members immediately convened all stakeholders to discuss the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. On January 27, 2019, the DNR led the launch of the battle for Manila Bay, giving the green light for its rehabilitation. Wow! That all people is participate? Oh my god! That is good citizenship, I think. More than 10,000? Wow! Immediately after the launch, the DNR and Laguna Lake Development Authority closed down airing establishments within the bay, which were found violating Republic Act 9275 Clean Water Act of 2004. Believing that local executives shall be the frontliners in cleaning up esteros that drain into Manila Bay, the DNR conducted dialogue with barangay chairpersons. This is also in preparation for the massive cleanup. On March 31, 2019, the Battle for Rivers and Esteros was launched with more than 16,000 oh. people participating in the cleanup. Oh, that is a big, big deal. But finally, they made cleanup, right? Wow. Up drives. The DNR continues to tirelessly work in the following areas. About 33% of the target 40,000 establishments were inspected as of November 28, 2019. Regular water quality monitoring in 18 selected river mouths and outfalls and 31 bathing beaches in National Capital Region, Region 3 and Region 4A is being conducted. Following the base rehabilitation in January, the coliform level in Aguawan Beach in Mariveles, Bataan significantly mm. went down to 8 from 790 MPN, prompting the DENR to declare it swimmable on April 9, 2019. Ah, there is, they, uh, they clean up and then so now they can swimming? From January to November 2019, combined DENR, LGUs, and Metro Manila Development Authority, or MMDA cleanup drives, collected 127,800 cubic meters of garbage, while Department of Public Whoa, Works and Highways, or that is all dirty water, dirty things. 
so so a lot. CPWH dredging activities generated 40,000 cubic meters of silt and debris. Oh. The DNR also launched the skimmers in Pasig River and ordered the removal of barges on the river. Delineation and demarcation of easement has started in 32 waterways in three regions. Survey and assessment of informal settler families living along waterways recorded 56,012. Wow. wow! It it was, I guess, it was very hard to clean up all that trash. But they, but they, but they finally did it. It's so amazing. ISFs. 259 informal settler families from Estero de San Antonio de Abad and Estero de Magdalena were relocated in Caloocan City and Cavite City. The DNR also hired 1,142 Estero Rangers to help out in the cleanup of Esteros uh. and collection of garbage from households along rivers and Esteros. Yes. It need a lot of people, so that is correct, I, I think. The DNR and its employees were directed to go out of their offices to help in the cleanup of Esteros, as well as conduct information, education, and communication campaign to heighten awareness and encourage participation in the rehabilitation of Manila Bay. Wow. Whoa! With all these initiatives, the DNR together with other members of the Manila Bay Task Force, is confident the Manila Bay will soon regain its former glory. Yes, I think they can do it. They can do it. Wow. Before... This is before... Wow. How can they, how they, how they did to clean up all that trash? It's impressive. Oh, a lot of fishes died. It's sad. There is a lot of people to participate. It's amazing. It's good citizenship. Wow. Oh, a lot of people. Do clean up. Oh, oh, that is now. I think the important thing is to maintain that beach. Long, long time. Sustainable is the most important, I think. 
because make dirty is easy but make clean again is little bit is more difficult than make dirty i think Can I be me without these? Can you be you? And if this invisible threat that holds us together were to sever, to cease, what then? What would become of billions of lone, disconnected souls? And therein lies the great quest of our lives. To find, to connect, to hold on. For when our hearts are pure and our thoughts in line, we are all truly one, capable of repairing our fragile uh... world and creating a universe of infinite possibilities. Wow. I think they can make Manila Bay clean up because already they did before two times, so it's more than easy to clean up again because they already have an experience before finish this video i wanted to tell something to you guys i do regular live streaming tuesday thursday saturday sunday 7 to 8 pm philippines time so if you wanted to communicate with me come to my live streaming and communicate with me okay Thank you for watching my video and salamat po. See you again. Bye bye.